Hi, in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the float property. Uh, float property allows you to float an element on um, right or left side of a container. Please go and uh, go to the hands-on 8.2 folder and open the file float. And if you run this, you would see that the image is floated on the right, right side of right side of its container. Please look at how the elements are arranged in your HTML page. You have an image file, and then you have a paragraph file. So the image file is named YLS, and that is a and and then what you are saying is for that image you are floating that to right side. So that's why you saw that a picture on the right side. If you wanted to see that on the left side of the surrounding content, you would say float left. And you would see that it's floated left. Of course, you can have some padding and uh, margin and things like that. So now let's go to the uh, hands on um, practice 8.2. And the file is, um, let me check the file here. Start 2. I'm going to open it up and let's see how it appears. It has some information in it and let's go check the HTML file for that. Do you have, do you have an H1 tag and a div tag? Div tag has an image as well as a paragraph tag and then an h2 followed by a p tag so div tag has image so the image tag so the so we can see that it appears the the paragraph tag has a font selected and then the whole div tag has a color uh, that we are applying here we have this color for the whole div tag as I mentioned div tag has that image followed by a paragraph so you can see that it's applied throughout and now if you want to make this image float to the left or right you can do that um, in your rules in CSS rules so here you want to go ahead and put the image a name say class equals float you can give you can name it anything you want but uh, it's called float now and then you are going to use that class name to apply some rules to it here we are saying that the image should float to the left of its containing uh, or surrounding um, uh, text in our case it is a paragraph and then we are going to say that we need to put some margin on the right 10 pixel and then put a border 3 pixel bridge and maybe black border all right now let's see how it up so you applied float left to that image now we can see that with the ridge background and everything it's floated left that means it is floated 
uh, to the left of the surrounding um, the surrounding um, information. If you want to make it float right, you have to change that. You can see that it floated uh, to the left. One problem that you are seeing here is even though you have that uh, background color for the whole div tag which contains the the image then this paragraph as soon as the paragraph is entered that div uh, color is entered and then you can see that even though we didn't specify this this surrounding information which is the h2 is also uh, followed this it, it it is all this image is also um, you know right justified for this h2 tag which we if we didn't intend to do that we have to kind of clear the float before this h2 appears so that you would see the background color for all of the all of this area and also clear this uh, one out of that floating so I'm just going to put that um, left justified back left actually the float back and now to clear that uh, you can do that in many ways one thing would be to add a simple break tag and you can call it here you are going to put a break tag and I'm going to call it clear left so what you are saying is put a break clearing the left floor that it is following so if I run this you can see that it's uh, almost clearing the floor uh, to uh, to your um, or let me see if I can put it here and with oh actually I'm going to put it back here and I'm going to put a rule here dot clear left so here what, what I'm going to see is um, clear left that means if there's a left float just clear that So you can see that it entirely clear the float. That is one way to do this, uh, clearing the left. Or you can apply the clear left to the H2 property or the H2 element. So that's what you would see in the next, uh, in the other hands-on, uh, which is a clear two. I'm going to open that and I'm going to run it and what you can do there is it has the clear uh, left what I'm going to do is uh, you can simply uh, put a clear left class to the HT, H2 element So this had been cleared, but you can see that it's still, uh, you know, uh, the background color is still there. So you may even want to simply use that for the, use that break. But it, uh, so that is another way of doing the clearing, uh, applying that to the element that follows it, which is H2, or uh, what we did before, 
that is applying a PR class, clear left, and then um, um, using the clear left. So basically, clear left is or right is to clear any previously done float. So it's clearing the float.